Can you see that squirrel moving around the tree trunk? It's about 6 a.m. in the morning in Malacca, Malaysia. We are actually in front of the entrance to the Tanjung Tuan Forest Eco Park. Today I'm here with a group mostly from Selangor and Kuala Lumpur. The Tanjung Tuan Forest Eco Park is located about 20 km from Bandar Port Dickson through the Malacca Port Dickson Road. It is actually a hill diptokap forest with challenging slippery slopes. Diptokap forest refer to any forest in which the dominant species are trees of the Diptocapaceae family. Trees similar to the ones we are seeing now. Admission to this forest eco park is free. Open from 7 am to 6 pm. This forest eco park is a wildlife sanctuary filled with patches of mangrove swamps and hidden beaches. The exclave is also ideal for nature trekking. Many locals come by to jog or walk briskly for exercise and recreation in the shady lush greenery. The park is one of the favorite bird watching spots for visitors, especially during the migratory season of raptor birds like eagles. Visitors can explore beautiful trails leading to white sandy seafronts such as this Tanjung Tuan Beach. <laughs> Perched on top of the summit of the popularly known Batupute Hill in this eco park facing the Straits of Malacca is the historical lighthouse known as Tanjung Tuan Lighthouse or Cape Prachado Lighthouse. Cape Prachado actually means broken cape in the Portuguese language. The lighthouse is believed to be the oldest in the country dating back to the Portuguese rule of Malacca during the 16th century. Being a protected forest eco park, the beaches along this cape are beautifully preserved with crystal clear waters and sparkling white sand, embraced by exotic greenery, as far as the eyes could see. Ripe pandana fruit. After hiking up and down the slopes, this year is our brother Surya and angler Johan Johan taking a short rest. Everyone else are very busy preparing their fishing tackles. Very enthusiastic about trying out their ultralight fishing skills. Recreational rock fishing and recreational ultralight shore fishing. That's our brothers Deva and Agilan Muniandi. Our sound specialist Melvin. Waiter and angler Johan Johan was kind enough to tie some leaders for our 
young fishing enthusiasts who were in the group or who didn't have much experience doing such activities. Berapa kali pusing ya? This is our brother Johan doing this uh, FG knot. It's an easy task for experts like him. Macam saja, senang saja ni FG knot. Ah, ni expert ni. Power test. Okey, cantiklah power test ni. Let's slip off dah. Okay guys. Just snip off only, tak payah burn ke apa Okay, cantik lah Leader to mainline FG knot, very fast indeed The trip organizer Alvin with his first catch A snake like eel First cast We quickly unhooked it Being very careful not to harm it and released it back into the sea where it belonged. Look at it go freely. Recreational fishing is all about catch and release. Tides had already gone down when we started fishing. Every one of us tried our hand at a very light shore jigging, light lure casting from the shores, and some bottom fishing with some dead prawns and squids using ultralight tackle. The fish were really reluctant to take a bite at our lures and our jigs. After trying our wits at fishing, even though we were disappointed that no fish took a bite at our lures or jigs, an awesome tasting home cooked meal was waiting for us. Specially prepared by Brother Surya and his missus in the wee hours of the morning. This scenario reminded me of my childhood days. A loving and caring father, Chinna, feeding his son Viroshan, whose hands were soiled due to playing in the sand. Rice with chicken curry and sardine sambal. So yummy. The thoughtful and kind-hearted brother Surya prepared and brought lunch for us. Must have lost much of his sleep getting up so early in the morning to prepare the food and bring it along for us. Brother Sundram enjoying his plate of awesome tasting chicken curry. <laughs> Every one of us enjoyed the delicious tasting food. Rice with the yummy chicken curry and sardine sambal. Thoughtfully prepared to satisfy everyone's palate. After lunch, while most of us were resting, Elvin and Melvin paired up to comb the beach for some clams and cockles. Loges with baby squids which he scooped with his bare hands. After really admiring his catch, he released them back to the sea. Brother Elvin managed to find a very flat surfaced rock and fired it up to do some barbecue of the clams he found with Melvin. We had good fun barbecuing the clams and the cockles found at the beaches.
barbecued clams can never taste better than this. Freshly caught and fired on a bed of rocks, sizzling hot fusing out its natural juices. Yummy and mouth-watering. Rambaka on the rocks, man. The best barbecued clam I've tasted. Barbecued on a bed of hot rocks, sizzling and oozing with its natural juices, with some lightly spiced oil. We also managed to find some crabs under the rock. The crab too tasted awesome. Barbecued on the bed of hot rocks. How is it? Managed to make contact with some paddleboard enthusiasts at Tanjong Tuan Beach. My long wait for a paddleboard group is over now. My starboard, which has been laying idle in the store, can get back into action again. Very soon. Later in the evening, we all headed home. The feeling was so good. Nothing can match the thrill of walking through the parts of this forest eco park. Looking for birds and animals and knowing they could be already watching you. Rasam. Uh, so uh, 
Actually, it is said that uh, this is a concoction to relieve you of cough. Uh, cough, flu, and cold. Mm. Wow, so hot. Mm. Nearly burnt my lips. Pepper. Wow, so nice. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ah. Mm. This is what fresh crab is all about. So sweet. It's so nice. So yummy. If you, had, if you get a chance to, you know, get fresh crabs, try out this recipe, okay? Anyway, let's go and see how we prepare this soup. Nandikal Rasam. Yeah, let's go and see. Let us first have a look at the basic ingredients needed. A few stalks of coriander or cilantro leaves. One or two stalks of spring onion. 1 medium sized lime 1 medium sized large red onion A handful of cherry tomatoes Half a green chilli 2 cloves of garlic And a thumb sized fresh ginger root 1 teaspoon heaped coriander seeds Half teaspoon cumin seeds 3 green cardamoms 1 teaspoon heaped black peppercorns about 200 to 250 grams of fresh uncleaned crabs how to identify male and female crabs this one which has got an elongated triangular abdomen covering the thorax is the male crab the claws and legs are attached to the thorax we can easily identify the female crabs if they come with egg sacs. This one comes with an egg sac. If there are no egg sacs, female crab actually comes with a semicircular abdomen. Okay, let's go and prepare the ingredients. Let's go ahead and clean the crabs first. Remove the gills, the guts, the mouthpieces and the feelers. Clean under running tap water. Flush out everything that looks unpleasant. Using a kitchen scissors, let us snip off all the ends of the legs. The egg sac is very tasty to suck upon when it's cooked. So let's take and keep it. Let us snip off the sharp ends of the claws and also snip off the uh, sharp pointed ends at the side of the claws which look like barbs so that we don't hurt ourselves when we bite onto the claws uh, while we are eating the crab after it's cooked make sure any pointed parts sharp parts of the claw has been snipped off properly all the soft tissue inside this shell part of the crab 
can be eaten and they taste very delicious in the middle of these soft tissues you will find a sack full of impurities and the food eaten by the crab uh, just remove that sack and throw it away the rest of the soft tissues can be put into the soup and cooked together with the soup We shall snip off all the legs and keep them aside. Put the 1 teaspoon heaped coriander seeds into a mortar and pestle and pound it. Roughly chop the coriander seeds. Do not have to be very fine. Add the half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Pound the cumin seeds together with the coriander seeds. Add in the 1 teaspoon heaped black peppercorns. Pound the black peppercorns together with the cumin and coriander seeds. Pound and grind them like so. Add in the three green cardamoms. Pound in the three green cardamoms. And mix grind them like so. Add in one garlic clove. Pound in the garlic clove. Add in five thin slices of a thumb sized ginger. Pound and mash roughly. Add in half the medium sized large red onion. Roughly pound and mash the onion. Add in half the green chili seeds removed. Let us roughly pound in the green chili. Now we shall throw in all the crab legs which we have prepared earlier and pound them in nicely with all the other ingredients. Also lightly crack up the claws of the bit larger crabs so that the soup and the juices can ooze in and out while being cooked like so throw in the stems of the coriander stalks let us roughly pound the stems of the coriander stalks when we dig and mix all the pounded ingredients they should look something like this. On medium heat, pour about 2 tablespoons of your favorite cooking oil into a saucepan. When the oil is really hot, throw in all the pounded ingredients we prepared earlier. Let us temper all the ingredients by mixing them well into the oil. Keep turning and mixing vigorously so that the ingredients don't get burnt easily. Quickly pour in about quarter cup of mineral water. Let us now mix the sizzling water into the ingredients. Making sure all the ingredients are coated well by the water. 1 cup of water to clean the mortar. That's a lot of flavor which shouldn't go to waste. Mix well. Add in about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. 
Now let us add in the rest of the crab pieces. Add in about 4 cups mineral water. Let's cover and simmer for about 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes of simmering the crab leg soup is up. Let us see how our Nandikal rasam is doing. Wow, looks awesome. The aroma is so inviting. I feel like I want to drink the soup right away. A few more ingredients to go in. Slit the handful of cherry tomatoes into half, only halfway through, like so. Let us throw in the cherry tomatoes we have prepared into our awesome looking soup. Add in salt to taste. Here we are adding 1 teaspoon heaped salt. Simmer for about another 3 minutes and our crab leg soup is ready. We can now off the stove and squeeze in the juice of half a medium sized lime. Garnish with the coriander leaves we have prepared earlier. If you prefer, you can also chop and throw in the spring onions. We are using fried shallots here. We can choose our ingredients when we cook on our own. That's the advantage. Cherry mm. tomatoes are so yummy. Mm. Please do comment and uh, subscribe to our channel. Till we meet again, stay safe and be happy. Enjoy.